welcome back guys this is Ibrahim Khoshi here and today we are going to do a quick session on vCenter and we are going to basically add the vCenter to Active Directory domain or actually use the Active Directory as a identity source so I have already done a video on uh, how to add vCenter to the Active Directory as just a computer but that doesn't allow you to actually authenticate using any domain active directory domain you will need to add it as a identity source the reason for that is because of sso sso is the identity manager and uh, adding the vcenter to the domain doesn't actually allow you to authenticate we'll look into it a little bit um for those of you who are joining me for the first time my name is ibrahim Qureshi. my twitter handle is ibrahim Qureshi, as you can see here and uh, i'm a v expert 19 2020 my blog is agileops.co.uk be sure to check it out as well and don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell and like for getting all my new updates let's get started so this is basically the session two which we are uh, running at the moment and uh, we are covering vcenter at the moment so vcenter server appliance active directory domain integration so we can add the vcsa vcenter to active directory as a computer as I said before there are few requirements for that well there's not actually a requirement but obviously if you do want to add it be mindful that when you're adding your domain your vCenter to the domain uh, you will require to do a reboot so be prepared for that and also anytime you're doing any activities with the vCenter or with any of your production server be sure to take a snapshot so note that this does not allow you to log in using the AD. So you can add it, but it doesn't allow you to add uh, login using the Active Directory users. So what you need to do for that is basically uh, make sure you enable that as an identity source. So we'll check it out now. So there are two ways to add VCSA to the domain authentication. Um, so we'll go through the next slide and then we'll look into that. So there are two ways to add the VCSA appliance to domain to authenticate. The first one is add identity source with integrated windows and authentication. And the second one is again, add identity source with Active Directory over LDAP. So most of the time in production environment, we use the second method, which is add Active Directory source uh, over LDAP. ADO world app so for doing that basically we go to the uh, main menu and then the administration and within administration you'll find configuration and then you'll click on the identity source as it's here and then you'll have four options as you can see local operation operating system with SSO open LDAP active directory over LDAP and then uh, active directory integrated windows authentication this is not used normally uh, but obviously we can just select that and then you can just uh, enable uh, because if you have already added ad to the domain then you can just enable it from there the second option obviously is uh, using active directory over ldap so this is basically the option you need to select and what happens is as i was saying so click on the menu go to administration and then click on third step is configuration for all this, basically, be mindful that you need to be logged in as an administrator at vSphere.local. So for me, the administrator account and the SSO account is administrator at lab.vSphere.local. You could have like test, fraud, dev, whatever it is, but you need to be making sure that you're logged in as an administrator at vSphere.local. Now, once you have done that, you need to... Uh, basically go to menu go to administration click on configuration and then click on identity providers and you will see identity sources within that obviously you need to select active directory over ldap this is what we use for protection uh, what we will do is we'll have to add the domain name here and then the base uh, distinguished name for the user which is dc equals to agile ops comma dc is equals to co comma dc is equals to uk for me 
and then I will need to provide the domain name and the alias which is agilog.co.uk and alias is just agilogs and then I will need to authenticate with my domain account so once you do that basically click on save and you should be able to add users there so let's get started with our demo so I have my vCenter server and I have been logged in to the vCenter server with administrator at lab.vsphere.local now I'm going to click on menu and go to administration or you can see it over here administration it's the same thing once you're here you need to click on configuration and you can see identity providers are already highlighted there is no identity provider which is uh, ad related as you can see um just to let you know i have already added this vcenter as um, to the active directory domain as a computer so to do that you need to go to click active directory i have already done a session around this and then you just need to add the domain and then you need to provide your domain credentials and then you will see that this domain will be added to the active directory uh, and then you can check that sorry this server vcsa will be added to the active directory you can see that in computers when you go you can see vcsa hyphen o2 which is basically added here you, although this is an appliance you can still add this to the domain so let's crack on with our lab which is identity sources now click on add now as you can see active directory integrated windows authentication we have already got the domain uh, use machine account we can select that and then we can click on add and this will basically add this as a source so i'll show you how to do that simple as that so this is the first method of adding it simple and easy uh, because we already had this domain added here because the computer was vcsa was a part of this domain it was easily easy enough for us to add it here and you can see it's now saying active directory integrated windows authentication yeah however we will not be using this because this is a production and this is not what we use in production environment so what we'll do is quickly add it as a ldap active directory over ldap now this is the bit where you will need to configure which I showed you in the screen um, I'll have a blog post on this one so you can go through as well and you can go through the settings which I have shown you in these slides so identity source is agileops.co.uk so tc equals agileops comma tc equals oops sorry dn if you need to check this is how we will be checking it so say for example if I want to use a specific account we show that you have I'll show you in a minute so we can see the object where it is but then we don't have the properties attributes oh yeah we do have it attributes editor over here in attribute editor, editor you can select the distinguish name which is dn view that copy the bits from here which is what we need it does make it really easy if you have access to your active directory domain now we will be adding agileops.co.uk by the way, agileops.co.uk is also on the website. So the distinct, the alias is going to be agileops. 
and then the username now we need to have a user which is having access which is having right permission to add it to the ad um, so we are going to use administrator at agile ops.co.uk and then provide the password be sure to leave this any domain controller in the domain because you don't want to go and reach to one domain controller and if it doesn't work then you won't be able to authenticate okay the, so these are the configurations we need to set up and then click on add Oops, A-D-M-I-N-I-S-T-R-A-T-O-R-A-G-I-L-E O-P-S dot color TK A-G-I-L Agile Ops Agile Ops and Agile Ops dot color TK Bingo! That's all added here That's how we add Active Directory to the domain and then what we can do is we can log off and we should be able to log in with the domain Give it a second. We need, still need to log log off. So log out. I have already added this user. There you go. So we are going to log, our, log in with the domain user, and this is Ibrahim at agileops.co.uk.